Um, but this tug of war game is something that she's been playing a lot with her older um, dog buddies at our house. Um, she really likes this game, so we're gonna help transfer that game to us. Just letting her get a hold of that rope and playing some tug. Had a girl, had a girl, had a girl. Yeah, getting into it, good girl. Good morning, Kat from Standing Stone Kennels, and we have a little squirmy quest here this morning. She is ready to work for her morning meal. Um, and we're live from Game Fair. So we're going to be doing a quick little live video with her prior to everything getting started this morning and the gates opening. Um, but there is still some activity going on, so some distractions that we might have to work through, which will be good for you to see during her training session. But if you've been following along and watching her stories through this weekend of Game Fair, she's been working on and learning a lot of new things from interacting properly with a lot of new people, hanging out on a stakeout, walking on lead, learning to go on and off the elevator, so socialization never ends, and it's a really important part of your puppy's development so they can be a well-rounded, well-socialized, bold and confident puppy that's ready to train. But today specifically, we are gonna wait for this little uh, go-kart to go through. Go on through, we're just doing a video, so go on through. I'm out of here. Like I said, lots of things going on, um, so we'll just have to work through those when they happen. But um, today we're gonna be specifically working on introduction to retrieving. So there's two parts of retrieving. The willingness of your puppy to run out, chase something down, pick it up and carry it around, and then the willingness to come back to you with it. So something that we've been working on in some of her past live videos is um, clicker to recall or to target here. So we're going to show you what that looks like a little bit this morning, show you her progress, as well as show you um, another little drill that you can do with the clicker recall. And then we're going to build some momentum of coming back to us. And then we're gonna start incorporating the um, retrieving side of things. And we like to use tug of war. Now, that can be kind of uh, controversial. Some people say do it, some people say don't do it. And this is our reasons for doing it. One, it creates a really nice natural hold where that puppy runs out, picks up that rope toy or that bumper object that you're using, and then comes back to you and doesn't let it go and wants to play tug with you. Um, so they won't drop it and spit it at your feet. So nice natural hold. Then it also creates a game. They want to come back to you builds a cooperation of coming back to you to play that game with you. Um, so they come back and you play some tug and then you get to throw another one for them. But you gotta keep in mind that um, you want to start that behavior and end that behavior. So when you're doing the um, tug of war game, <laughs> got a little squirrel here, um, when you do that tug of war game, um, people think, oh, well, my dog is going to rip birds in half and fight me for birds and things like that. But if you develop this behavior from a young little puppy um, of you starting and ending the game and the behavior, you're not going to run into that issue. So we're going to get started with uh, quests retrieving or um, recall and then move right into the retrieving side of things. So let me set her down, pick up my treat cup which again, we're just using her breakfast, her morning meal. I'm gonna just toss her lead out of the way. And we're gonna work on the target here. Good girl. Good. Quest. Quest. Here. Good. Quest. Quest. Now we're doing this training session in not quite as an enclosed environment as our house. So it'll be easier for her to get distracted, but we're gonna try and do pretty close reps, pretty close reps to keep her focus. Good. So something else that um, you can sometimes run into when you're working on recall is that your puppy, Quest, Quest won't necessarily want to leave your side and they're just staying right here. Well, how can you work on calling them back to you and the recall side of things if they won't leave you? Quest, 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 quest. Puppy. So I'm going to go grab her from behind this other booth. Pup, pup, pup. 
keep her focused. Like I said, we've got a little more open environment than we've been working on in the past. So keeping her focus, come on, is really important. Um, so right now we're not really running into the issue of her leaving me, um, but sometimes when you're working on this, you might run into it. So Ethan and I are going to show you a little drill that we like to do. Um, that works on calling your puppy back and forth between you. Even though we're not really running into that issue right now, it'll be a good thing to be able to show you. So, I'm gonna let her go here. Good, good. Cool. Quest! Woo, 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 woo. So we're getting a little bit of her sassy pants attitude still, and if that keeps up, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to ignore her. Um, but we wanna keep her excitement and her focus on us as well. So it's a fine line. Quest! Quest! So we're getting a lot of sassiness out of her. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, potty break! Quest! And I'm gonna call her back to me, here. Give her a treat. And then we're gonna to transition to the rope toy. Um, now when we are doing our retrieving um, and tug of war work with the rope toy, I'm gonna to have Ethan here switch me for my treat cup and my rope toy. Um, we stop using treats because we don't want her to come back and immediately drop the rope toy ready to eat her treat. The whole point of this game in this tug of war game is for her to keep holding on to that object and doing that natural hold back to us. Um, we got a dog walking by, so I'm not gonna let her go quite yet because she will probably run over to say hi to them. Um, but this tug of war game is something that she's been playing a lot with her older um, dog buddies at our house. Um, she really likes this game, so we're gonna help transfer that game to us. Just letting her get a hold of that rope and playing some tug. Had a girl, had a girl, had a girl. Yeah, getting into it. Good girl, good girl, good girl. So then I'm gonna take it. It's just a matter of opening her mouth, getting her excited about the rope, giving it a toss. At a girl, at a girl. Come on. Good girl. You gotta bring it back so we can play. Good girl. So when we're doing this in an out um, environment that we're not enclosed in, there's not a direct pathway or something that she could come right back to us. So working on this in a hallway or something would work really great. But she is enjoying this game, obviously. You can see that. Had a girl. Good girl. Good girl. So I'm just gonna take the toy, get her excited again, do a toss. Had a girl. Good girl quest. Oh, and you left it. You left it. Yeah. And now there's a stick, something else to get distracted with. So like I said, this is a really great game, especially to start out with, if you can play in an enclosed um, environment where you've got a direct path, a hallway that she has to go down to get it, and then come back to so she can't skirt me and get distracted by sticks and things. Good girl, good girl. But you can see how she's holding on to this object and definitely not letting it go when she comes back to me, which is part of that natural hold. Yeah. So I'm gonna let her hold it for a second. Praise her, she's doing such a good job. Let her calm down a little bit. And then just open her mouth. She doesn't have that strong of jaws. It's not that hard to do. Take it from her, tease her a little bit. Give it a toss. a girl, a girl. So I was gonna try and cut her off, which didn't quite work. Quest, quest. And we're distracted again by something to sniff. So because I'm seeing this level of distraction, and I wasn't sure what was gonna happen. Like I said, this is the first time we've done this with her. 
I wasn't sure if she was gonna come straight back to me to keep playing this game, or right now for her, there's so many other things that she'd rather sniff and smell and check out that she gets distracted by them and drops the toy. So we don't wanna condition that behavior either of, hey, I run out, I pick this up, and then I just go off and do what I want and ignore mom calling me and ignore the rope toy and drop it. So I'm gonna finish this game by playing some fun tug that's exciting that she wants to do and isn't getting distracted or giving up on. Good girl, good girl, yeah. Oh. Then I'm gonna just let her settle down a minute, praise her for doing a good job. That was really good. Good girl, good, good. And then I'm just gonna take the rope from her. I'm gonna tease her a little bit, let her know how fun that game was and that she wants to keep playing it. And then we're gonna put this game away until we can play it in a more enclosed environment, like I was saying, a more controlled environment like your hallway. That's where we need to be with her, especially after seeing the level of distraction she had out here, is we need to be somewhere that we can control. She's going out and then she has to come back to me. She can't skirt me. She can't run and check out a stick or a leaf or an acorn that almost hit us that fell right there. Um, but any number of things that can distract her, we need to be in a less distracting situation for her next session. But thanks for tuning in. Did anybody have any questions? Okay. Well, again, remember to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the great videos that we'll be doing with Quest. And if you like, share, and comment on this video, sorry, she's getting heavy, little 12 week old puppy. Um, but remember, if you like, share, or comment on this video in the next 24 hours, we're gonna be giving away some great training gear um, and fun, exciting stuff. You're probably gonna get a puppy bumper and a rope toy since this is a retrieving video. So let us know that you like this video and you'll be entered in a chance to win. Thanks. Mm -hmm.